Too tired to cook during the week? Takeout getting too expensive? Still want to enjoy delicious meals but don't have the time to cook every day? Why not prep them all at once? That's exactly what I'm doing today. Meal prepping 12 meals for the week. It's my first time taking on this challenge and I'm excited to share how it can help save time while still enjoying flavorful home cooked dishes. First things first, I'll start by preparing the marinades for both the chicken and sliced sirloin beef. This will give them time to absorb all the flavors while I work on the rest. I'm keeping it simple but flavorful, using a mix of Dijon mustard, sesame oil, honey, lemon juice, minced garlic, and soy sauce. The goal for this video is to prepare 12 meals efficiently, while keeping a good variety without using way too many ingredients. To achieve that, I'll be overlapping some ingredients across different dishes and sauces. I'll be making six distinct dishes with the added goal of not repeating any meal on back-to-back -back days. I got quinoa and white rice that I'll be preparing right here and here. And we're gonna let it cook and simmer while preparing the frozen tray of the meatballs and chicken breast chunks. With the stove top busy, I'll take advantage of the free oven by baking frozen meatballs and chicken breast chunks. To keep these meals flavorful even after reheating, I'll be preparing a few sauces to pair with the proteins. Each sauce will be enough for two meals and will be stored in snap block containers to keep them fresh and ready for later use. These sauces not only add flavor, but also help keep the meals interesting throughout the week. You won't feel like you're eating the same thing every day, even if the proteins or carbs overlap. For the spicy Thai sauce, I'm bringing back this simple yet flavorful sauce from my spicy Thai basil recipe video since it's incredibly convenient to make. Moving forward, I might swap out the serrano and habanero peppers for red pepper flakes to keep it even easier, while still packing in that spice. This small swap makes it convenient and ensures I always have what I need on hand without sacrificing any of the flavor. Before diving into the cooking, I'll be preparing Mexican rice to pair with beans and chicken. This became a favorite of mine after I made chili Colorado for a video a few months ago. I had to include it in this meal plan because not only is it incredibly convenient to make, but it's also incredibly delicious. Now the cooking begins and my stovetop will be fully occupied. The chicken and sliced sirloin will start cooking alongside the vegetables. Cooking proteins first allows you to multitask as they take the longest to cook. While the chicken and beef are sizzling, I can now prep the veggies. For this meal plan, I'm preparing frozen broccoli, a frozen stir fry mix, and brussels sprouts. Prepping the veggies is quick and easy, and using frozen ones is a real time saver. Not only are they pre-washed and pre-cut, but they're also great for preserving nutrients, making them a convenient choice for meal prepping. While the chicken and sirloin continue cooking, I'll also prepare tilapia fillets to add to the list of proteins. Once the pan is freed up, I will make the final sauce, a creamy mushroom chicken sauce to pair with the beans and rice. For this, I'll use heavy cream, sliced mushrooms, salt and pepper, and a bit of shredded cheese for extra richness. It doesn't stop there. The final batch is ground chicken, which I'll cook with peppers and shallots, paired with a spicy Thai sauce. Once that's done, I'll move on to cooking the black beans, stir fry vegetables, and boiling water for hard boiled eggs to include in my breakfast. Man, oh man, man, oh man, this is a lot of food. Now that we have all this food, let's start preparing our meals. I like to kick off my week with Meatball Mondays, so I'll start with that. 
While assembling, I had an idea to create a Dijon mustard sauce mixed with honey and balsamic vinegar to pair with the meatballs and chicken breast chunks for extra flavor. I love teriyaki bowls, so I used a pre-made teriyaki sauce on the cooked chicken, paired it with white rice and broccoli, and topped it all with sesame seeds and scallion greens. Assembling the meals is the fun part because you get to see everything come together. It's also a great moment to think about how you want to pair your sauces with your proteins in order to get that balance of flavors for each day. Tilapia is a lighter protein option that cooks quickly, making it a great addition to the meal plan. It pairs really well with a simple and flavorful sauce of lemon garlic butter. There you have it, six different dishes spread across 12 meals, with no repeats on consecutive days. It was a bit of a tiring process, especially since I was filming everything, but it was worth it because of how delicious everything looks. One sauce I did not enjoy as much was the creamy mushroom sauce. While it was still delicious, it felt a bit too heavy for me, and I ended up feeling bloated after eating it. For my next meal plan, I'll skip this sauce altogether and go for a lighter option, like a Mexican hot sauce, which will pair perfectly with the rice and beans. This was a good lesson in finding balance. Sometimes, sauces that are rich and creamy can be a bit too much for meal prep, especially if you're eating them several days in a row. It's important to try different sauces and see which ones work best for meal prep. Another thing I've learned is that meal prep is a process that you can always tweak and improve. The more you do it, the faster and more efficient you'll get, and you'll discover what works best for your taste and schedule. That was very exhausting. Recording myself making 12 meals was fun, but it took a lot of time. It's almost 10 p.m., it's 9.48 p.m., and I've probably been here for almost seven hours. After reflecting on the process, I've already thought of a few ways to make things more efficient next time around. For my next meal prep, I'll focus on speeding up the process by reducing the number of homemade sauces and instead using pre-made, low-calorie, hot sauces that I personally enjoy. Another time-saving tip is to make any sauces the day before and store them in snap lock containers so they're ready to go on meal prep day. Meal prepping like this may seem like a lot of work up front, but it really saves you time and energy during the week, making it much easier to stick to your meal plan and avoid the temptation of takeout. Plus, having everything prepared in advance means you can enjoy nutritious, home-cooked meals without the stress of daily cooking. It's all about setting yourself up for success, and once you get into the routine, the whole process becomes more efficient and rewarding. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching and sharing a space with me here at our virtual table. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for next week's video where I learned to perfect making pizza dough. See you all in the next one.